All right, we got, what is this? This was literally humanity's peak in CGI and sound design. You ever see that film Gunfight at OK Corral? Oh. Burton Lancaster and Kirk Douglas? No, why? Damn. So right in the middle of it. Is that good? Bro, the first couple Transformers. What is this? I think, isn't this like the second one? Or is this the first one? I think this is the second one. I'm not sure. There's so many at this point. Uh, but either way, bro, those first couple Transformers slapped so hard. I love them. Like, who cares that... Uh, about like the human factor or or whatever bro it's got massive amounts of roboting robots fighting robots in it okay a lot of people died oh eyes turn on bro i forgot this this uh robot's name but god damn like when i first saw that in theaters holy crap i i really don't remember which one this was was this like the second or the third one i'm pretty sure this wasn't the first one because the first one ended with like was it like Optimus and a uh, Megatron fighting each other in the city? And then Starscream like flying off. I think this is the second one. I think. I really forgot. But regardless, bro. <laughs> it's like you look at that gigantic um, like transformation scene and they could have easily overwhelmed you with a, a ton of like metal clanking left and right because that's not how it would actually sound like in real life that probably would have made like way more noise uh, than what you just heard but it, bro it it's fucking awesome it it gave me goosebumps it took me back to that like the first transformers movie when you first see blackout the helicopter in that opening scene and then you initially, when he's first transforming from helicopter to Decepticon, and you hear that, oh, oh, eh. bro, I knew like right at that point, I was like, fuck, this is going to be amazing. Devastator. Devastator. Just everybody go, we'll get it done. We're going out, we're going out like men, understand? <laughs> And he's got this gigantic de detachable jaw where he just starts sucking up everything. It looks awesome, dude. I th I still think that I don't know, one of the, like the main critiques of like the the modern day Transformers movies uh, where all this stuff was happening was like all of the Transformers uh, both, uh, what was it, Decepticons and Autobots. All of their designs, while they did look cool, they looked busy. You don't really know where exactly to look. Like, about the only thing that you can see is like, oh, that's his little green eyes, and he's got like maybe a couple sets. But that's about it. Other than that, you don't really know where to look. And unless you see him sucking up all this sand... And like his neck turning and shit. It's like, what am I looking at? It's almost looking like uh, back in the day uh, with TV, you had the uh, the black and white fuzz on the TV where like a channel would come in like halfway or something. 
Like you could kind of see the picture, but it was fuzzy. That's almost what this looks like. Then you got the big old vacuum sound. I completely forgot about those two like uh, little robots <laughs> with the big ears and uh like the like the half grill. <laughs> oh shit! Did he die? Ah. Oh. Oh yeah. You never eat me. I'm gonna bust your face up. Bro, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I forgot that that happened. <laughs> oh man. And wasn't, weren't these like early Transformers movies, uh, like the Michael Bay Transformers movies? Like you can say whatever you want about like his storytelling ability, but God dang, if he couldn't, this was the explosions guy. Like God dang, this dude knew how to make explosions. Latches on. Oh God, this is it. The pyramids built right over the machine. They turned that machine on. No more sun. Not on my watch. Not on and you know what's also crazy? Like, I don't know who did the sound design for this, but like, the it's like a highlight of what is actually happening. You know, they, they could have added like a bunch of like stepping sounds for like the stones and whatnot, but like, yeah, they could have, but they didn't want that to be the highlight of that little scene. What do they want you to hear? What do they want you to see? Pay attention to his little, like a uh, little grappling hook doodads that he was shooting out. Like, I'm just like realizing this right now. My watch. Yeah. Like some of these rocks don't even have sounds because he doesn't want you to pay attention to like the rocks. You, he knows that you can see the rocks. He wants to highlight the devastator cl clawing up this like pyramid. USS Stennis, identify. Hey, where the hell are you? Watching the Weather Channel, Sports Center, I Dream a Genie or something? We got 300 satellites up there. Where the hell are all our men? Identify yourself. What is your name, Sailor? Wilder, captain of the USS John C. Stennis aircraft carrier. Okay, Captain Wilder. This is Agent Seymour Simmons of Sector 7. There is the mother of all non-biologicals getting ready to blow up our sun. Do you want to have a throw down about my lack of clearance, or do you want to help sell you a gazillion lies? All right, Agent Simmons, I'm listening. Bro, like immediately when he shows like the hovercraft, I get like Call of Duty vibes. I'm like, damn, calling in the boys. Five 
five clicks. West of the Gulf, we got ourselves an alien remodeling a pyramid. Well, one hopes a prototype weapon called a railgun. Shoot a steel projectile Mach 7. That's classified. Don't talk to me about classified, all right? Now, if you've got a battleship in the Gulf, which I know you do. Damn, like watching this scene over again, I just want to go back and watch some of those early Transformers again. Like, dang. You tell them to ready. That weapon! Contact destroyer, USS Kid. Keep going, man. 15 minutes of fighting. And now you hear the highlight of like all the little rocks and rubble rolling down the pyramid. This was like like an on the nose joke with like uh, the wrecking balls being like his balls. <laughs> I am directly below the enemy scrotum. 25.7 meters above sea level, 29.30. And yeah, it's like a low hanging fruit type of joke, but uh, I mean, and yeah, you probably didn't really need that. It's like, eh. Kill track, 5205. Five, Target acquired, killing track two, one. Fire. Bro, let me hear that again. Hello. And then also for the sound design, it's like you can hear like the wrecking ball just clanking like big hollow. I, I, I have no idea how like a wrecking ball is actually made. <laughs> the enemy screwed him. 25.7 meters above sea level, 29.32 north. Kill track, 5205. Five, Target acquired, killing track two. One. But the damn railgun, bro. And it's kind of funny because it's like, oh, it's classified. It's just sitting there on the front deck. They didn't even, he didn't even do like a little, oh, what's under the cover? And then like they tear the cover off type of deal. It's just like, Ooh. and then just fire one. Fire. <laughs> oh. Bro, that sounds so good because it's it's such a satisfying like metal like a hot molten metal colliding with another piece of like dense metal oh yeah god dang it's kind of crazy <laughs> to think that like oh man like, I, I don't know. I, I just didn't appreciate some of those movies when they came out. And it's only upon, like, going back and seeing them again. It's like, damn. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's quite astonishing how they went so hard for scenes like this uh, in a movie that didn't even have a script. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Let's be honest. No one ever went to see uh, the Bayverse movies uh, for the plot. Only for the epic transforming in fight scenes uh yeah i mean bro whenever i first saw transformers uh i think it was like for me it was i think it was beast wars when i was a little kid and then there was like some other show where it's like they're the car versions i was like oh they're cars now and not animals <laughs> like uh like before and um it was like so many years until you know, the, the, the Michael Bay Transformers movies came out. I was like, how the heck is he going to do a Transformers movie? Like turning cars into the, cause like in my head, all I had to go off of was like just TV shows. It's like, how are they going to do that? But then when the first one came out, it was like, God dang, dude, that shit goes hard. And that railgun can one shot. One of the biggest Transformers was ever was never seen again. <laughs> Uh, yeah oh yeah like the railgun yeah they didn't use that again at all even though it was established that they had it oh man that's funny uh that was good though <laughs> just going to see like the old scenes and whatnot man
there has to be like some good ass like CGI and sound design like for some like modern day movies. There just has to be. I mean, I haven't seen a lot of movies recently, but like there, like something like that. I don't know. That's gonna be tough to beat, dude, for sure. But no, thanks for making it. Um, thanks for making the little clip. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, later.